Hello everyone. Here I am again in front of you all with a new lesson from new unit and the unit is humor. Before going to the lesson just understand what is humor. So basically humor is the funny or amusing qualities of somebody, something. Aisi qualities kisi vyakti ki hasne par majboor kar de. That is called humor. Sometimes unki acting, sometimes unka vyang aapko ek funny scene ke roop mein entertain karega, right? Uh, by listening humor or by listening the meaning of humor, did you remember anything or remember of a person? Kisi vyakti ke baare mein aapko yada raha Okay, I'll give you a hint. Did you know? Charlie Chaplin. Who is Charlie Chaplin? Have you heard about Charlie Chaplin? So here it is. Charlie Chaplin. He is the most humorous personality and a comic actor, filmmaker and composer rose to fame in the era of silent movies. Aapne agar kabhi bhi inki movies dekhi hongi तो ये बोलते नहीं थे, just like Mr. Bean, right? वो भी same तरह के comic actor हैं, but जो हम Charlie Chaplin को किसी के साथ compare नहीं कर सकते।
he is the best one of that era right he become worldwide icon through his screen persona uh, because of his screen persona he become a worldwide icon after that aapne jo maine bhi naam liya unka wo aaye lekin sabse pehle kaun aaya mr charlie chaplin aaye now uh, unke according he believe that now he is having a thought that my pain may be the reason for someone's laugh but my laugh must never be the reason for the someone's pain or somebody's pain unka socha ye tha ho sakta hai mera dard kisi ke chehre par muskurahat la de ya kisi ki hansi ka karan ya khushi ka reason ban sake but meri khushi kabhi bhi kisi ke dukh ka reason नहीं बन सकती सो दैट काइंड ऑफ ह्यूमरस पर्सनालिटी एंड अ ग्रेट एक्टर ही वॉज नाउ कमिंग टू द लेसन द नेवर नेवर नेस्ट द क्वेश्चन अराइज हियर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ नेवर नेवर नेस्ट नेस्ट का मतलब होता है घोसला और नेवर नेवर का मतलब होता है कभी नहीं कभी नहीं बिकॉज ईच एंड एवरी थिंग इन दैट विला इज ऑन इंस्टॉलमेंट just because of that that villa is the never never nest of jack and jill so this is a lesson about a couple who are newly married and engage in purchasing things for their house and they believe on the installment basis they believe on the marketing strategy that buy now and pay later or pay in installments so before going to this act actually this is a play this is not a story right so this is a play before going to the scene let's know about the author of this novel because this is only the scene given in your book so This play is written by Gridin Mount and Gridin Mount is a considerable distinguished playwright of his age. He wrote thoughtful play in French and English. He wrote many satires during the first half of the 20th century. So this is all about the author. Now coming to the play so the here before starting the play let's uh, talk about the characters there are four characters in this play first jack the male jill means jack is husband and jill is his wife right aunt jane and fourth one is nurse unit 2 humor reading a the never never nest the characters jack Jill his wife Aunt Jane nurse The launch of Jack and Jill's villa at New Hampstead the essential furniture consists of a table on which are writing materials and two chairs As the curtain rises the lounge is empty but Jack and Jill come in immediately followed by Aunt Jane and this is the lounge charming charming such a cozy little room and such pretty furniture we like it you know handy place to sit in and listen to the radiogram oh have you got a radiogram as well as a car and a piano why of course aunt jane you simply must have a radio set nowadays and it's so nice for me when jack's away at business i even make him move it into the kitchen so that i can listen to it while i cook sit down aunt jane you must be tired and we have shown you everything now what do you think of our little nest aunt jane i think it's wonderful my dears the furniture and the car and the piano and the refrigerator and the radio what said it's wonderful really wonderful and we owe it all to you 
Yes, Jack, that's what's worrying me. Worrying you, Aunt Jane? Yes, that check I gave you for your wedding present. It was only two hundred pounds, wasn't it? I did not put two thousand by mistake. Why no, Aunt Jane? What on earth made you think that? Well, that's all right, but I still don't altogether understand. This house, it's very lovely, but doesn't it cost a great deal for rent? Rent? Oh no, we don't pay rent. But Jack, if you don't pay rent, you'll get turned out into the street, and that would never do. You have Jill and the baby to think of now, you know. No, no, Aunt Jane, you misunderstood me. We don't pay rent because the house is ours. Yours? Why? Yes, you just pay ten pounds and it's yours. You see, Aunt Jane, we realized how uneconomic it is to go on paying rent year after year when you can buy and enjoy a home of your own for ten pounds and a few quarterly payments, of course. Why be Mister Tenant when you can be Mister Owner? I see. Yes, there's something in that. Even so, you must be getting on very well to keep up a place like this. Oh, he is Aunt Jane. Why? Only last year he had five shilling rise, didn't you, Jack? Of course, that was nothing really. I'm expecting ten this Christmas. Jack. I've just thought of something. That car is it yours? Of course, it's ours. All yours? Well, no, not exactly all. How much of it? Oh, I should say the steering wheel, and one of the tires, and about two of the cylinders. But don't you see? That's the wonderful thing about it. I don't see anything wonderful about it, but there is Aunt Jane. You see, although we could never buy a car outright, we can enjoy all the pleasures of motoring for a mere five pounds down, and the rest by easy instalments, I suppose. Exactly, exactly. And what about the radio? What's it? Well. That's the and the piano. Well, of course, and it is. And it's so nice for me when Jack's away at business. I even make him move it into the kitchen so that I can listen to it while I cook. Sit down, Aunt Jane. You must be tired, and we have shown you everything now. What do you think of our little nest, Aunt Jane? I think it's wonderful, my dears. The furniture and the car and the piano, and the refrigerator and the radio. What's it? It's wonderful, really wonderful. And we owe it all to you. Yes, Jack. That's what's worrying me. Worrying you, Aunt Jane. Yes, that check I gave you for your wedding present. It was only two hundred pounds, wasn't it? I did not put two thousand by mistake. Why no, Aunt Jane? What on earth made you think that? Well, that's all right, but I still don't altogether understand. This house, it's very lovely, but doesn't it cost a great deal for rent? Rent? Oh no, we don't pay rent. But Jack, if you don't pay rent, you'll get turned out into the street, and that would never do. You have Jill and the baby to think of now, you know. No, no, Aunt Jane, 
you misunderstood me. We don't pay rent because the house is ours. Yours? Why? Yes. You just pay ten pounds and it's yours. You see, Aunt Jane, we realized how uneconomic it is to go on paying rent year after year when you can buy and enjoy a home of your own for ten pounds and a few quarterly payments, of course. Why be Mr. Tenant when you can be Mr. Owner? I see. Yes, there's something in that. Even so, you must be getting on very well to keep up a place like this. Oh, he is Aunt Jane. Why, only last year he had five shilling rise. Didn't you, Jack? Of course, that was nothing really. I am expecting ten this Christmas. Jack, I have just thought of something. That car, is it yours? Of course it's ours. All yours? Well, no, not exactly all. How much of it? Oh, I should say the steering wheel and one of the tires and about two of the cylinders. But don't you see? That's the wonderful thing about it. I don't see anything wonderful about it. But there is Aunt Jane. You see, although we could never buy a car outright, we can enjoy all the pleasures of motoring for a mere five pounds down. And the rest by easy installments, I suppose. Exactly. Exactly. And what about the radio? What's it? Well, that's the... And the piano? Well, of course, I'm expecting ten this Christmas. Jack, I've just thought of something. That car, is it yours? Of course it's ours. All yours? Well, no, not exactly all. How much of it? Oh, I should say the steering wheel and one of the tires and about two of the cylinders. But don't you see? That's the wonderful thing about it. I don't see anything wonderful about it. But there is Aunt Jane. You see, although we could never buy a car outright, we can enjoy all the pleasures of motoring for a mere five pounds down. And the rest by easy installments, I suppose. Exactly. Exactly. And what about the radio? What's it? Well, that's the... And the piano? Well, of course. And it is. And it's so nice for me when Jack's away at business. I even make him move it into the kitchen so that I can listen to it while I cook. Sit down, Aunt Jane. You must be tired and we have shown you everything now. What do you think of our little nest, Aunt Jane? I think it's wonderful, my dears. The furniture and the car and the piano and the refrigerator and the radio. What's it? It's wonderful, really wonderful. And we owe it all to you. Yes, Jack, that's what's worrying me. Worrying you, Aunt Jane? Yes, that check I gave you for your wedding present. It was only 200 pounds, wasn't it? I did not put 2000 by mistake. Why no, Aunt Jane? What on earth made you think that? Well, that's all right. But I still don't altogether understand. This house, it's very lovely. But doesn't it cost a great deal for rent? Rent? Oh no, we don't pay rent. But Jack, if you don't pay rent, you'll get turned out 
into the street and that would never do you have jill and the baby to think of now you know no no aunt jane you misunderstood me we don't pay rent because the house is ours yours why yes you just pay 10 pounds and it's yours you see aunt jane we realized how uneconomic it is to go on paying rent year after year when you can buy and enjoy a home of your own for 10 pounds and a few quarterly payments of course why be mr tenant when you can be mr owner i see yes there's something in that even so you must be getting on very well to keep up a place like this oh he is on jane why only last year he had 5 shilling rise didn't you jack of course that was nothing really i am the furniture i i'm afraid so i suppose all you own is this leg she points to one well no as a matter of fact it's that one she points to another and the rest belongs to mr sage i suppose um yes well i am not going to sit on mr sage's part for anyone now tell me how much do all these installments come to well actually actually to 7 pounds 8 and 8 pence a week good heavens and how much do you earn as a matter of fact um that is 6 pounds but that's absurd how can you pay 7 pounds 8 and 8 pence out of 6 pounds oh that's easy you see all you have to do is to borrow the rest of the money for the payments from the thrift and providence trust corporation they are only too glad to loan you any amount you like on note of hand loan and how do you propose to pay that back oh that's easy too you just pay it back in installments installments on jane is anything the matter would you like to lie down lie down do you suppose i'm going to trust myself in a bed that belongs to mr sage or mark and spencer or somebody no i am going home oh must you really go i think i would better i'll drive you to the station what travel in a car that has only one tire and two thingamies no thank you i'll take the bus well of course you feel like that about it now i'm sorry if i sounded rude but really i'm shocked to find the way you are living i've never owned a penny in my life cash down that's my motto and i want you to do the same now look here's a little check i was meaning to give you anyway suppose you take it and pay off just one of your bills so that you can say one thing at least really belongs to you um thank you aunt jane it's very nice of you there now i must be going i'll see you to the bus anyway goodbye aunt jane and thanks so much for the present good bye my dear oh nurse i want you to run and post this for me i look after the baby while you are gone certainly madam well she is gone what a tartar still she did leave us a bit on account how much was it 10 pounds phew that's great we can pay off the next two months on the car with that i i'm afraid we can't why ever not you see i i have already sent it off for something else 
nurse has just gone to post it. Well, that's all right. Who have you sent it to? Dr. Martin. Dr. Martin? What on earth possessed you to do that? There, now you are going to be angry with me. I am not angry. But why waste good money on the doctor? Doctors don't expect to get paid anyway. But, but you don't understand. Understand what? Why, just one more installment and baby is really ours. Okay, now the scene is here that there is a lounge. Lounge मतलब क्या होता है? बैठने की जगह या बैठक जिसे हम कहते हैं. There is a lounge where the audience can find a table and chair. And other than nothing was there. And on that table and chair, some paper and pen was kept on that. Okay. As the curtain rises, पर्दा उठता है. कहाँ से स्टेज से क्योंकि एक प्ले है दिस इज अ प्ले एंड द आर्टिस्ट आर प्लेइंग नाउ एज द कर्टन राइसेस जैक एंड जिल केम इमीडिएटली ऑन द स्टेज विथ आंट जेन हेयर प्ले स्टार्ट्स हेयर दे फाउंड दैट द थ्री ऑफ देम वेयर इन अ लाउंज राइट नाउ देर इज कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन देम वॉट इज दैट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड There are so many things the Jack want to show Aunt Jane. First of all, his beautiful house. Second, radiogram. Third, his car. Fourth, fridge, and many more. When Aunt Jane saw all these things, she was wondered, and she was happy too. Take a job. आंट जीन ने ये सब देखा तो वो थोड़ी सी आश्चर्यचकित भी थी एंड हैप्पी भी थी और जैक उन्हें ये सब दिखाना चाहता था जस्ट टू शो ऑफ कि देखिए हाउ मच वी आर हैपिंग एज जस्ट वी आर रिसेंटली मैरिड देन आल्सो वी आर हैविंग दैट मच ऑफ थिंग्स नाउ शी वाज लिटिल बिट सरप्राइज दैट हाउ जैक मैनेज टू हैंडल सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स Uh, he question. She asked, Jack, uh, what is the rent of this house? What is the rent of this villa? Villa means a big home, right? So he said, Na na, Aunt Jane, I purchased this villa. I am not a rent giver. मैं क्या हूँ? Rent देने वाला नहीं हूँ, ठीक है? I am a ओनर मैं क्या हूँ इस घर का मालिक हूँ सो शी वॉज लाइक सरप्राइज कि हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दैट कि ये इतने अमीर कब बन गए कि एंड क्योंकि बिकॉज जैक की जो अर्निंग थी दैट वॉज अ लिटिल बिट ही वॉज अर्निंग सिक्स पाउंड एंड हाउ ही मैनेज हाउ ही मैनेज टू हाउ ही मैनेज टू ओन दिस हाउस so she was little bit confused she asked how you did it he told that just paying 10 pounds and i own this house well and rest of the money he told that i am paying rest of the money in the installments right mai baki ke jitne bhi uske hain paise hain unko mai installments mein de raha hu okay now and again she asked now what about that radiogram so he said uh, it is also in installments what about that car they again said it is also in installments again aunt jane asked so what about the furniture they said these are also in installments and what about the fridge they said i afraid Actually, Jill said, "I am afraid this is also on installments." Aunt Jane was totally shocked when she heard that each and everything were in installments. She asked, "Do you do you have something that you own? क्या तुम्हारे पास ऐसा कुछ है जो तुम खुद own करते हो?" 
जैक रिप्लाइड यस ऑफ कोर्स इन दिस कार इस कार में आई हैव दिस स्टेयरिंग वन ऑफ दैट व्हील एंड टू ऑफ दो सिलेंडर्स उसने बताया इस पूरी कार में एक स्टीयरिंग उसका है एक पीछे का व्हील उसका है और दो सिलेंडर्स जो लगे हैं वो उसके हैं रेस्ट ऑल द अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द कार इज ऑन रेंट इज ऑन इंस्टॉलमेंट्स शी वॉज टोटली शॉक्ड शी आज दैट टेल मी वन थिंग वेन इन योर वेडिंग आई गेव यू ए चेक राइट दैट वॉज ऑफ टू हंड्रेड पाउंड ना बाई मिस्टेक हैड आई रिटर्न इंस्टेड ऑफ टू हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड दैर वो पूछती हैं कि तुम्हारी शादी में जो मैंने चेक दिया था वो दो सौ पाउंड का ही था ना कहीं गलती से मैंने वहाँ पे दो सौ की जगह दो हजार तो नहीं लिखा वहाँ पे जिल कहती है नो 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 वाई आर यू थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस देन आन जेन टेक अग ऑफ रिलीफ तब आन जेन एक आराम की सांस लेती हैं और कहती हैं ओ माय गॉड नाउ नाउ यू टेल मी हाउ यू पीपल आर गोइंग टू मैनेज ऑल दीज थिंग्स she was little bit confused and as she was an old lady she was looking tired by these thing so she want to sit but when she knows that the chair or the sofa uh, was also in installments she was not ready to sit on that she said that is furniture mein se ek pair bhi aapka hai तो एक्चुअली जिल सेट नॉट दिस वन दैट लेग वॉज आ ओन मतलब उस फर्नीचर का लेग भी उनका नहीं था उसमें चार लेग में से एक लेग उनका था बाकी सारे इंस्टॉलमेंट्स में थे बाई लुकिंग एट आन जेन जेन्स पेल फेस जैक एंड जिल आस्ट यू आर लुकिंग टायर्ड प्लीज रिलैक्स और लीन डाउन यू विल फील मच बेटर Aunt Jane replied, "No, no, 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 no. I am not going to sit or lean down here. Here, each and everything is on installment. I can't sit here because I made a habit that to what to be purchased, it should be on cash. I never prefer installments. I never prefer installments. I never prefer installments. So how could I sit here? No, I can't." ओके नहीं अगेन शी सेट आई शुड आई थिंक दैट आई मस्ट लीव फ्रॉम यर जैक सेट शुड आई लीव यू फ्रॉम माई कार शी टोल नो आई विल गो थ्रू बस और बाय बस आई विल गो बाय बस इस रेंट की कार से जाना और इंस्टॉलमेंट्स की कार से जाने से बेटर है आई विल मैनेज इन बस शी Before leaving the house, she handed a check again to Jill, and said, "This is a check I am giving to you. Invest this amount of money to own something completely of yours." राइट right? इसका मतलब ये हुआ उन्होंने एक टेन पाउंड का चेक दिया और उन्हें कहा ये जो लिटिल अमाउंट मैं तुमको दे रही हूँ इस अमाउंट को वहाँ खर्च करना जहाँ पर तुम क्या कर सको ए, कुछ ऐसी चीज़ हो जिसको तुम खुद अपनी कह सको वो कम्प्लीटली तुम्हारी हो सके ऐसी जगह पर खर्च करना 